Well, I wanted to know, Noriel, about that 2% inflation call. You said we're going to be above there because of these labor, prolonged labor, labor strikes and then the pressure of the nearshoring. How long and how far above 2% do we stay? Is this a fundamental regime shift of inflation in which you're describing? Yes, um, I've argued uh, that uh, the era of the great moderation of low inflation below 2% and stable growth is gone and we're entering an area of what I call great stagflationary and financial instability. Higher inflation is going to be caused both by supply side factors, deglobalization, geopolitical conflict, aging of population, restriction of migration, reshoring, global climate change, pandemics, cyber warfare, backlash against inequality, partial deglobalization. Those are all supply side factors that reduce growth and increase the cost of production. And on the demand side, we live in a world in which there is so much private and public debt and deficits are going to remain higher because we'll have to spend more against inequality, against climate change, to deal with pandemic, to deal with inequality coming from globalization and AI and so on and so on. So spending will be higher. Taxes are not going to rise as much. Structural deficits will be higher. So either we crowd our growth or have debt crisis, or eventually we have to monetize it, and that's going to cause essential inflation. So both on the supply side and the demand side, there are factors imply that 2% is at this point mission impossible, and the new normal may be somewhere between 3 and 4% for advanced economies, over time, of course, not overnight. So there are structural factors rather than cyclical that imply that inflation is going to be much higher for the longer term. Thank you.